where there is disease, shadows lurk and fear reigns. Yet, in the light of stem cell research, mankind was given hope. So, are you ready for the abortion procedure? Yes. Before we start, would you like to donate the aborted embryo for embryonic stem cell research? Well, if it's for scientific research, then sure. Okay, so can I have you sign right here, please? Alright then, let's get this operation underway. <gasps> Fresh meat! Okay, I've loaded the embryo sample on the truck. Taking off, wish me luck. Hey, I heard there's another human embryo being delivered to the lab for them stem cell research, even though President Bush vetoed that Stem Cell Research Enhancement Act in 2007. Dang, man. How can we do such cruel things to little babies? And what is the stem cell thing anyway? Um, I don't know. Someone's got to put an end to this. We'll blow the truck up this will teach him a lesson about killing babies. Alright, here comes that truck. Stand back while I shoot my rocket launcher at it. Well, great, just this! Sigh, so depressed. So many things to study for for this hard class. Sad face. Hey, what's this? Aborted embryo? Poor important stem cell research? Happy face. Oh my god, I'm rich! Hello, is this Professor Oak's research lab? I found a package of an aborted embryo that belongs to you guys. Ah, uh, yes. The missing package from earlier today. Well, I was wondering how much you guys want to pay for it. I found it as mine now. I'll give you five bucks for it. Well, come on, you're breaking my balls here. Twenty bucks. Fifteen. Ten. Done. Awesome. So, you must be the one who found our embryo. Yeah, but tell me, what do these pluripotent stem cells do, and why do you guys want these things so bad anyway? I thought you were in Dr. Talbot's CBNS-169 class, so you should know. <laughs> yeah, but I'll be damned if I understood any of it. Well, let's see. We have different types of cells in our body, right? Heart cells, skin cells, and so on. These are all derived from three different germ layers during the course of development. The endoderm, ectoderm, and mesoderm. Do you follow? Nope, not at all, but go on. You see, before a cell differentiates into a skin cell or a brain cell, it is what we call a stem cell. A pluripotent stem cell, such as ones that are derived from human blastocysts, can differentiate into any of those three germ layers. These cells are possible treatments to many problems such as brain damage, heart damage, or even cancer. I guess that kind of makes sense. But how come there are people who protest against these research if they're so useful? The problem behind all this controversy is that a lot of conservatives out there claim that it is unethical to use human embryos for research. It's a shame because most of those people can't fully understand the possibilities that stem cell research can reach. Well, is there anything that has been done about it? We can't do anything against them. However, there has been recent studies of induced pluripotent stem cells. That is, we can take a somatic cell from an adult and reprogram it to become a pluripotent embryonic stem cell. There is also a study that showed that there are pluripotent stem cells in adult testes. So you can just take any cell from me and make it a stem cell? That is correct. However, this is a very recent discovery, and we haven't been able to put it to practical uses yet. Well, I guess someone must talk some sense to these conservative people. Wish me luck, Doc. Face pod, because expressing how dumb that was in words just doesn't work. This is blasphemy! This is madness! <laughs> This is Sparta! This is Sparta! This is Sparta! This is Sparta!